Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so you might be wondering, what the hell am I doing with this weird cable in front of me? But uh, basically, I'm just coming in with this video because I want to show you guys how to set up your PS3 with the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. And here is the box for the Intensity Pro. The Intensity Pro is an internal capturing device used for profession professionals actually use it. Uh, but obviously, we use it for our game capturing. So this cable here is actually the PS3 component cable because this is what you need to capture if you're using the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. Uh, so right now I'm going to pull out a cable which um, plugs into the Blackmagic which is that cable, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I've had the Blackmagic for a really long time, well not really long but quite a while now. And obviously you have all your cables and stuff that plug into it. Uh, it obviously does show you all the like inputs and stuff input and output so uh, let me open this this actually plugs into the back of your intensity pro and then here it has like output which obviously I'm not going to be using because you can use HDMI uh, I'm sorry but well it says audio outputs and stuff and so basically all you have to do is plug in your component cable to the input on here so let me just untie this uh, PS3 component cable. I'll be showing you everything from plugging straight into your PS3 going into your PC and stuff like that. Um, so here you have the big component cable. This plugs into the back of your PS3. Um, and let me show you the cable. So you got your audio cables which is these two and then the rest are video cables. The yellow one that it has on it you don't need to use. You can use it if you want to change your settings on the PS3 but uh, if I do have to do that then I'll try and do that myself. Um, so basically you find the inputs on here, you plug them in so you have... So I'm going to show you guys at the back of my PC so obviously here I have a HDMI cable. Here's the TV that I'll be playing on. This has actually got uh, Russell Peters playing on this so there's all the cables that you can see goes all the way down into my PC, PS3 uh, and it's plugged right there you can see this big bulky thing that is my uh, black magic and so it's plugged in through HDMI so uh, basically when you switch it when you want to switch on your PS3 there's my PS3 and Xbox you can see um, you hold down this button for like uh, it'll beep a few times, so I'll do it for you guys because it's more easier that way. So once it does that, I guess the settings are reset. And hopefully I'm able to get onto it under the HDMI. So I have to open up the Blackmagic software and see if it works. Highly unlikely it will work, I have no idea. It has no signal. So I'll figure it out and then come back to you guys because I haven't got a clue on how it works. Hey what's up guys, I am back and I've got my PS3 set up and I'm sorry that I skipped a lot. But um, I'm basically here to show you guys how I set up. So basically you open up Blackmagic Media Express which is right here. I do not know why I'm using my camera, but I guess it's easier that way. So you go here to your uh, edit settings. If you guys can see that, if my freaking camera decides to focus. So you go to edit, and then you go to preferences. Then you just put your settings on the HD 720p settings. But before you do all that, first plug your PS3 up using that yellow cable plug it into your SCAR or if you have the yellow adapter plug it into that and then you'll be able to um, do your settings uh, beforehand so then you don't have to fiddle about with it because that's what I had to do so there is my PS3 and um, if you guys um, I, I, my PS3 is right here I got a few games for it today um, so basically how it all goes together is um, I have no idea, but anyway, who cares? Um, so those are the settings I have. Uh, I'm not too sure if you can do 1080i, but 720p is good enough for me, and I'll be doing live stream today. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, basically how I'm running this is I'm running it 
the component cable straight to that cable that comes with the black magic into my PC um, then from that I have a HDMI coming out of the um, black magic intensity pro into my TV and so uh, I'm playing off HDMI right now uh, but recording through component uh, so I guess that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to know any more information on how you meant to do this there are also settings in your control panel so if I go to my control panel if I go to the black magic design settings which is right there uh, you have you make sure you have it on HDMI and component and then you need to change this to component Y in and analog RCA audio uh, if you're using HDMI uh, then you set it to that if you're using HDMI and RCA audio which is basically capturing audio using them RCA cables then you put that down but I'm using component and HDMI so that's my settings so uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll be recording some videos from PS3 if you can tell here I got, I got a few games I got Dust, I got Borderlands, I got Motor Storm, I got Just Cause, I have Red Dead Redemption, Resident Evil is a demo. I'm sorry for that noise, but that's my TV. Uh, I need to just do my theme settings and stuff like that, I'm going to tell. Uh, I'm actually going to be streaming this now, like in five minutes. Uh, you guys obviously are not going to see the stream, I'll put a tweet out for that stream. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hey what's up guys, it is SMG for Live 01, just coming in with this video. So as you can tell, I'm just scrolling through my uh, PS3 uh, home screen and just showing some few little things for you guys because obviously I just recorded a few bits and I just wanted to show you guys because it's in 720p and obviously this video isn't going to render in 720p, it's actually going to render in 1080p. Uh, but I'm just like showing you guys like all these little features that it has and what what brings to what it brings to the stadium like with all these new things that you have that like you have the um, I'm using component gable so it's not full like proper quality and I'll compare it with the Xbox with HDMI and stuff like that uh, obviously using PS3 is a whole different like new thing for me and obviously it is so different compared to like using Xbox so um, I actually did play Call of Duty today and I did have a lot of fun playing because I obviously didn't get to play against people who I know um, or who I usually play with. I was playing against people who haven't, who haven't played PS3 with in like forever. Uh, but basically this video is just quickly introducing um, the PS3 to my YouTube channel um, with this black magic uh, setup and basically right now it's obviously like loading um, Infamous 2 oh shit I didn't even know I'm downloading Infamous 2 and shit my my PS3 is turned off right now I'm gonna have to turn it on to, to finish downloading the game um, I guess once I'm um, finished doing everything with the PS3 um, I mean with all this stuff but um, I'm definitely live streaming PS3 I'm live streaming Xbox I'm live streaming uh, loads of other stuff and uh, just yeah, I got um, new things to try out. PS3 is going to be so awesome. Um, we're going to have a load of fun with the PS3 stuff. Um, new games, obviously, with the PS3. I can record PS3 just with new little um, new little things. And we'll try doing some more videos later on PS3. I don't know what, what games we could do, but we could pull off a few new games. And I'm sorry for this long wait. Uh, I'm literally having to wait for it as well. So I'm downloading Infamous 2. Uh, it's actually a pretty good game. I haven't played it yet. Obviously, I'm not a PS. So I'm not a Sony guy. Let's just put it that way. Um, obviously, the PlayStation Store is actually kind of cool with PS Plus, where you pay like whatever, and you get loads of you get a few free, free games. And I totally did forget that I'm downloading game right now because I played like before. And obviously, you have so many things that you can do on the ps3 obviously xbox is similar you have sky and stuff like that so that's it for this video i'll see you guys later peace